I also uh, uh, Daniel Ellsberg proud to say that I spent a couple hours in a jail cell with Daniel Ellsberg many years ago so <laughs> the second thing is I have a cardiac problem I have a stint right now and uh, for, for years I was ignoring the, the, the issue and and I came home one day and my wife said to me, uh, I found the cardiologist, you go see. And I said, oh really? Why do you think I'll go see this guy? Because this guy won the Nobel Peace Prize. That's Dr. Bernard Lau. And for 20 years, I was, I hope to say, his favorite patient. But we, I would go in and he'd do all his medicine and then we'd sit in his office and talk politics and everything <laughs> for like a half hour. And at the very end, uh, when he was, he kept me on as a special, for the, for the end, he, he had he down, down uh, sized his practice, but he kept me on. And the very last time I went in to see him, and I said, you know, I actually have a photo of him holding my banjo. But he said, uh, I said, Dr. Lown, I said, I, I pulled out my camera, I said, I really would like to get a picture of you and me together. Standing there in his white gown and white things, he reaches into his front pocket on his white apron, whatever you call the thing, and he pulled out a camera. He said, me too. <laughs> Most precious moment of my life, I think, with Dr. Lau. He was uh, just a wonderful, wonderful human being. So. We named a bridge in Lewiston, the Bernard Lau Peace Bridge. Wow, wow, yeah, he was something. So, um, I'd like to get my, uh, uh, now, everyone had a big meal tonight, right? And it, it, it's good when, after you eat a meal like that we, we just enjoyed, to have um, a little bit of exercise. So this is an aerobic song for everybody. It's also a sing-along. So I would like to get my two assistants up here, if I could, my son David and Peggy, right? So, in order to get, you guys have been sitting down for a long time. Your tushes must be kind of sore at the moment. So, if we could get everyone just to stand up. If, if able. If you're not able, that's okay. This is going to be a song you're going to remember. So, uh, now we're going, to, we're going to teach you. Now you got the from the first song you 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 were really good with the singing, right? Everybody remember? So we're going to do the same thing. Um, and uh, but again, this is the last song of the night. So let's blow the roof off of this place, okay? So um, this is a song that uh, has a choreography, and it goes. Uh, one more thing. It goes. There's no place to hide. Once the missiles fill the skies, the earth is going to die. It's too late to ask them why. It'll be over so fast. Makes no sense to cry. Just give your kid a great big hug and kiss your ass goodbye. <laughs> I told you you're not going to forget it. <laughs> but we have to practice, right? Let's try it one time. Acapella. Ready? Do you think you got the words? Yeah. But you got to sing, too. No place to hide. Once the missiles fill the skies, the earth is going to die. It's too late to ask them why. It'll be over so fast. Makes no sense to cry. Just give your kid a great big hug and kiss your ass goodbye. Oh, you guys are good. All right, is everybody in the back doing this too? You know, make sure, there we go, okay. So you ready to try this one time? So I'm gonna, hold off. I'm gonna do just a chorus one time so we, we make sure we got it, right? So it goes, two, three. There's no place to hide once the missiles fill the skies. 
earth that's gonna die It's too late as to why It'll be over so fast Makes no sense to cry Just give your kid a great big hug And kiss your ass goodbye Oh, I wish I had a camera to get you guys <laughs> So, all right So that's it So, are we ready? Hey, buddy, what are you going to do when the war begins? Huh? What are you going to do when the bomb falls? When the bomb falls. All right. <laughs> what are you doing when the bomb falls? It's been a long night for Doug, I understand. So, well, I'm a survivalist and I'm going to survive. After Armageddon, friend, well, I'll be alive. I've been through my training, got my ammo and gun. If my neighbor comes looking to help, I'll shoot that son of a gun. But there is no place to hide once the missiles fill the skies. Earth is gonna die, it's too late as to why. It'll be over so fast, makes no sense to cry. Just give your kid a great big hug and kiss your ass goodbye. Well, I've built me a shelter, put it deep in the ground with concrete. Green and steel, I've made it safe and sound, filled with food and water for our civil defense. And around my bomb shelter, I put barbed wire fence, but there is no place to hide once the missiles fill the skies. The earth is gonna die, it's too late as to why. It'll be over so fast, makes no sense to cry. Just give your kid a great big hug and kiss your ass goodbye. Well, then I'll Move my family to the southern hemisphere, Australia, New Zealand. The bomb won't hurt us there, and rainy Asian can't hurt us when we're far across the sea. Besides, I ain't afraid of nothing, friend, that I cannot see. But there is no place to hide once the missiles fill the skies. The earth is gonna die, it's too late to ask them why. It'll be over so fast. Makes no sense to cry. Just give your kid a great big hug and kiss your ass goodbye. Well, prevention is the only thing on which we must agree. For this armament and world peace, this I do believe. From nuclear war, there be no hiding place. Prevention is the only thing will save the human race. Cause there is no place to hide once the missiles fill the skies. The earth is gonna die, it's too late to ask them why. It'll be over so fast, makes no sense to cry. Just give your kid a great big hug and kiss your ass goodbye. But there is no place to hide once the missiles fill the skies. The earth is gonna die, it's too late to ask them why. It'll be over so fast. Makes no sense to cry. Let's give your kid a great big hug and kiss your ass goodbye. I hope somebody got that on film. Hey, everybody. Go in peace. Thanks for being here. <laughs>